uh, when you do this particular type of a thing then this is the exit section this is the exit section and this you can call it as a air compressor air compressor this is the section 1 1 this is the section 2 2 that is the outlet section and this is the inlet section so this is the inlet and this is the outlet this is the outlet and sometimes the daytime head is also mentioned right so here what is the, uh, it is given so here initially it is given as velocity c1 is 7 meters per second next another one is the pressure p1 is 100 kilopascal pressure is uh, next to uh, the volume the specific volume v1 is 0 0.95 meter cubed per second meter cube per kg sorry meter cube per kg and what about the outlet section so at the outlet side the c2 that is uh, velocity is given as 5 meters per second and the pressure p2 is 700 kilopascal and the specific volume it is 0.19 meter cube per kg meter cube per kg right so it is a uh, single fluid so it is a single uh, stream of a fluid that is writing the energy balance equation so first of all you should have to write the energy balance equation that is m1 dot into that is u1 plus p1 v1 plus uh, v1 square by 2 plus gz1 plus d bar q by dt observe this one is equal to m2 that is a uh, exit section m2 dot u2 plus p2 v2 plus here so uh, let you consider as a c because already it is uh, considered as a velocity is a c so that is uh, c2 square by 2 plus gz2 plus d bar w by dt d bar w by dt this is the uh, given uh, question this is the given uh, that is uh, not given it is uh, the steady flow energy equation so the in this case then uh, you can uh, consider this one as a you know sometimes we could be able to write as a q dot and this uh, sometimes we could be able to write it as a w dot because it is uh, this q is in kilowatts because it is a uh, time is there so here this is also in kilowatts this is also in kilowatts right now so once after obtaining this particular uh, diagrammatic sketch then uh, now you have to solve the you have to solve the problem so how you are going to solve that particular numerical problem so that is the uh, substituting the values so first thing is you have to um, design so that is uh, here let me write that one as a w dot that is w dot is equal to because already it is a w dot is nothing but d bar w by dt that is nothing but equal to so this is uh, m dot that is the mass for it it is uh, remains constant into u2 minus u1 u2 minus u1 plus another one is flow work that is a p2 v2 minus p1 v1 this is the flow work flow work minus a. next one is plus c2 square minus c1 square c2 square minus c1 square divided by 2 plus g into z2 minus 
जेड वन जेड टू इंटू माइनस जेड वन प्लस क्यू डॉट दट इज डी बार क्यू बै डी टी डी बार क्यू बै डी टी देन सब्सटिट्यूटिंग द न्यूमेरिकल वैल्यू वाट इज दट दि मास फ्लोरेट इज मेन सो दट इज पॉइंट फाइव मास फ्लोरेट इज मेन सी अबर्व द इक्वेशन so sometimes uh, you can uh, write the entire thing you can write uh, this entire thing uh, depends on the uh, numerical problem so you can write uh, this one as a h2 minus h1 right so the entire thing is h2 minus h1 but in this problem in uh, they have mentioned in terms of a uh, internal energy so what it is given 0.5 right 0.5 and here the observe this the internal energy of the air leaving is 90 greater than the that of air entering that means this is going to indicate that u2 minus u1 is nothing but equal to 90 so that is what uh, now i have to substitute i have to substitute this u2 minus u1 as it is 90 it is 90 Right, ninety plus P two V two. So what is that P two? P two seven hundred kilo pascal. It is mentioned that is the seven seven uh, hundred. It is hundred. Ah, uh, seven hundred. So P two is seven hundred. Seven hundred. So seven hundred kilo pascal. Seven hundred. Kilo Pascal into V two, V two is point one nine, V two is point one nine. So this is a point one nine seven hundred kilo Pascal. Observe that uh, the units compared here it is in kilo joule. So seven hundred uh, into point one nine minus P one. It is hundred kilo Pascal into V one. What is that? It is a point nine five. Point nine five, right? Plus c two square. It is five square minus seven square. Five square minus seven square divided by two thousand because it is in kilojoules. So here this is in kilojoules, right? So that is when it is in kilojoules, then you will get this one as three zeros. Plus g, that is potential head. Here it is not at all mentioned there potential head, so that it is zero. So when you solve this particular case, then you will get the work as minus one twenty two, minus one twenty two watts. So what does it mean? That means this minus sign is going to indicate this is the correct answer. This minus sign means here it is the air compressor. To operate the air compressor, work input is required. So uh, to operate the air compressor, work input is required. Means uh, uh, negative work input uh, that you are going to get. That is, so the rate of uh, work input, the rate of work input is nothing but equal to. So when you mention that in terms of the rate point of view, it is nothing but equal to one twenty two, one twenty two kilowatts. So it is uh, here you will get as one twenty two kilowatts. One twenty-two kilowatts, right? Now, from this, uh, uh, the second thing that is compute the shaft work input to the air in kilowatts. That means you have to give the work input. So that's why it is minus one twenty-two kilowatt. What is the second one? The second one is uh, that is uh, B bit, right? This is the A bit. This is the formula you have to apply, and the B bit. What is that particular B bit? That uh, you you can get it as a one c one by specific volume v one is equal to a two c two by specific volume v two is equal to that is mass flow rate, right? This is mass flow rate. So what is the area? That is a one is nothing but equal to the inlet section of a pipe. That is five by four d one square. What is a two? A two is equal to Five by four d two square. So substituting that uh, 
velocities and specific volume with the mass flow rate that mass flow rate is given as 0.5 kg per second then what you will get so you are going to get the d1 by that is you can get the d1 by d1 by d2 so the answer is 1.89 answer is 1.89 so this is how you have to solve the problems connected to this one so first thing is uh, obtaining the exact uh, or obtaining the or uh, you know writing the steady flow energy equation for air compression that is very important so this is the standard one you have to uh, remember so w dot is equal to minus m into u2 minus u1 plus p2 v2 minus p1 v1 plus c2 square minus c1 square by 2000 and here also this uh, this is also when it is here it is neglected because it is not mentioned so here uh, this particular thing is zero right this is zero so after solving this case then the work input to the air compressor it is minus 122 or uh, the rate of uh, work transfer to the compressor is 122 kilowatts then uh, find out the ratio so here here it is mentioned that it is uh, mentioned that the inlet pipe diameter to the outlet pipe diameter. So the inlet pipe diameter to the outlet pipe diameter, you will get uh, the answer as uh, 1.89. Uh, so no units, right? So ratio, they have asked for the ratio. So it is no units. So this is the first uh, problem in this particular uh, side. Hope uh, you understood how to apply the steady flow energy equation for solving the numerical. So the rate of work input is 122 kilowatts. What about the ratio? It is 1.89. So what is the equation you have to apply? So you know you have to take the nodes and uh, write the equation, then substitute the numerical values into this particular variable. Then slowly you calculate it uh, with the help of a calculator. Uh, separate for the separate term so that uh, the error that means you you can you will not get the wrong answer so this is the way of uh, practicing the numerical problems onto the thermodynamics point of view so if you go on observing the things you cannot get uh, anything from the thermodynamics just the only thing is practicing how many problems you will practice that uh, the richness of the content is going to increase on your side the number of uh, practicing the problems is uh, important onto this uh, thermodynamics point of view right so that is the first one that is the first one and the second one is uh, the problem which is connected to the steady flow operators so in a steady flow operators 135 kilojoules 135 kilojoules of uh, work is uh, getting right so here uh, steady flow operators 135 kilojoules of work is done by each kg of a fluid see observe this one 135 kilojoules of work is done by each kg of a fluid the specific uh, volume of the fluid pressure velocity and the inlet are given so these are three so the inlet section part is mentioned over here and the work so this is uh, nothing but the kilojoules of a work is done by each kg of a fluid the inlet is 32 meters above the floor inlet is 32 meters above the floor and uh, the discharge point is at the floor level the discharge conditions are 0 0.62 meter cube per kg 100 kilopascal 270 meters per second the total heat loss between the inlet and uh, discharge is 9 kg of the fluid in flowing uh, through this apparatus does the specific internal energy increase or does the specific internal energy increase or decrease and by how much so the answer is the specific internal energy decreases by 20.136 that means how we are going to solve this particular uh, numerical problem
So here in this particular case, for solving this particular type of a case, that is the drawing the diagram and sketch that is also important, right? So practice that is the steady flow device. So that means uh, draw the steady flow device. So this is steady flow device, which is uh, constructed in such a way that so this is uh, the which is going to reach to the floor level. So this is the steady flow SF that is steady flow. And this is the inlet section 1 1. And this is the exit section 2 2. What is that? Here it is the, uh, the discharge, the discharge pipe is at the floor level. So this is uh, the discharge. This is the discharge at the floor level. Then what are the given uh, input it is given? So here the P1 is given that P1 is 600 kilopascal and uh, C1 that is the velocity. It is uh, 16 meters per second, 16 meters per second. And the, the uh, pressure, the pressure it is uh, 600 kilopascal. C1 is the 16 and the specific volume, it is the 0 0.37, 0 0.37 meter cubed per kg. And Z1 here, see, this is the Z1. That is the inlet pipe elevation, inlet pipe valley elevation. That Z1 is given as 32 meters above the floor, 32 meters above the floor, whereas Z2 is nothing but equal to zero z2 is nothing but equal to zero so in the same way the outlet conditions are also mentioned here but uh, something which is mentioned here that the, this is